Millennials, I am Zara Padililim and welcome to another episode of Millennial TV. Today's topic is about personality. Magtry tayo ngayon ng about psyche as our quirks, you know, temperaments, nuances, and dreams make our personality the sum of our character. We must millennials must traverse this life with what we have deep inside and as why, as one wise man was said, our character is our destiny. Thank you, Sarah. All right, our personality traits indeed makes or breaks what we do in life, and may also predict relationship status, professional success, and our journey through life itself. Naniwala ba kayo na yung personality natin at yung characteristic natin ay parang dadalhin tayo dun sa journey natin. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm Chris Abaya. Yan po yung topic namin today about personality and characteristics. Yes, hello naman mga millennials. I am Maya Salazar and thank you Zara and Chris for that. Um, I am taking a break for today sa pagiging SK and also kamarites nyo for every weekend and embracing my inner millennial. Ayan, parang medyo malalim yung mga topics natin for today, di ba? Pero we'll yes. try to make it more lighthearted. And as some people say, some people go through life without ever knowing themselves. Naniniwala ba kayo doon? Mm -hmm. Or their partners or even their family and friends. Most of the time, doon nagkakaroon ng misunderstanding. But on the other hand, it also places us in exciting situations that to truly know oneself is the beginning of wonderful journey through life. Pero bago ang lahat to our televiewers, kami po muna ang makakasama ninyo ng aming special guest and co-host. Dahil po, isa po sa ating mga hosts for Millennial TV, uh, I mean two of them, I, um, si Waki and also Yulavai, will not be with us today because of some important matters that they need to attend to. Busy talaga tong si Waki, eh, no? So, pero sabi nga nila, life is about opening oneself to change. And bagamat pansamantalang wala yung kaibigan natin si Waki, open tayo and inclusive to meet new friends. Ikaw na mag-introduce sa kanya. Ayan, yun nga wala si Yulubay and Waki. That's why we have a special co-host today slash guest Rin as a social media influencer. He is known to be an articulate and intelligent conversationalist. And to me, as a social media influencer, he is not only one who convinces followers of his thoughts and beliefs, but it is he is also brave enough to point out to society about its ills and biases. And when an influencer or a political barfly, a fashion rake, or maybe an intellectual outcast, gaya ng ating bisita, starts agreeing with the masses, that's when society loses its conscience and the ability to change for the better. One such individual with that kind of personality is here with us today with no compromise and with no reservations, mga millennials. Welcome, Mr. M.A. Vendilla. Yes, yes, welcome. So, thank you so much, guys, for having welcome. me. It's such an honor to be here. And I'm very happy that I'm going to be a part of the show mm -hmm. that is very close to my heart. Welcome, and thank you so much, mga kamilenos. Welcome. Yes, welcome. Yes. welcome to me. Welcome to you. <laughs> welcome again to GNN show. Again. M.A. Yes. Actually, you see, M.A., I, we guested him mm. sa isa nating show then, Trace Max, dito sa... GNN and from that napakilala niya na din yung sarili niya but syempre since this is our first time yes. being together in one show ipakilala mo naman ulit yung sarili mo ulit. yes uh, mga kamilanyos I am M.A. Buendia I've been vlogging since 2016 I've been doing a lot of things online like sharing my thoughts savage thoughts and sharing <laughs> my stories opinions about important matters walang MMA, like if it's like taboo or if it's like something na controversial, mm -hmm. like I just really like speaking my mind. So this is going to be a great platform then for every one of mm -hmm. us to share mm -hmm. what we know and probably it's going to be relatable sa mga viewers natin, especially millennials and you know audience of other generations as well. Yes. All right. Uh, meron na question sa kanya. Mm -hmm. So since influence, uh, influencer ka, di ba? Anong parang feeling or difference ng influencer sa pagiging host? Well, for me, okay, medyo na... <laughs> na medyo, 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 med
influencer kasi the word medyo may parang negative stigma na siya, di ba? Mm-hmm. Like, parang ang tingin ng mga tao, parang it's all about being a cloud chaser, you just mm-hmm. want free mm-hmm. stuff, yes. entitled, feeling celebrity, mm-hmm. or fame, or mga ganyan yung mga... Ano yun? But for me kasi, I would rather uh, call myself like a content creator because that's what we do naman. We create mm-hmm. content online. And for a TV show kasi, ngayon, kung mapapansin nyo, wala na masyadong parang barrier or yung parang difference kung paano man yung production sa traditional TV, traditional media, sa kasi doon sa vlogging, um, internet, kasi everyone is transitioning online na ngayon. Tsaka yes. napaka-creative na, di ba? Napaka-creative na, mga, in- yes. mga vlogger, no? Mas naging madali na yung... Uh, feeling ko mas naging available na siya for everyone. Yeah. You know, if you want to be a star of your own show, oh. to be creative, to produce something, you can do it unlike before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. And i- dagdag ko na lang din sa sinabi yeah. niya. Because we are going to be talking about personalities, mm-hmm. di ba? Um, sa mga kagaya ni MA, na content creator, actually, this... Um, this days, di ba, parang talagang napaka-accessible na sa atin yeah. ng social media. So, even if or no matter what your personality is, yung pag-access natin sa social media, pwede kang maging influencer kahit ba introvert ka. Mm-hmm. Yes. Even if yes. you're just in your own home, di ba? Exactly. Mag-on uh, ka lang ng camera mo and talk to the camera, pwede ka na maging isang content creator as well. So, ayun, mag- um, co-host ko for today. Ano naman yung mga topics na pag-uusapan natin for today? So, we're gonna talk about personality. Ayan nga, I have a question for mm. you guys. Does personality plays a big part in our life? Mm. Does it affect our decisions in life in mga relationships, mga professions? What do you guys think? prefer what do you guys think it, it does yeah. yeah for me kasi like especially when you mentioned mm-hmm. the profession feeling ko um malaking factor para mag-succeed ka sa isang field na pinupursu mo ay kung ano yung personality mo mm-hmm. like for example mm-hmm. a lot of people were telling me na oh you might you might join this uh business or you might do this and that you may you may uh, go to sales mm-hmm. but my personality kasi it's very um I don't know, mataas yung pride ko. Like, for example, if you, uh, okay. if you tell me na no, or parang naramdaman ko na you, you're declining me, parang may meron akong thinking na parang okay, kung ayaw nyo po, okay lang. And you, you can't do that in the business, especially in sales. So, kailangan masyado kang persistent, aggressive, or uh, competitive. And that's just not me. So, hindi ako magsasaksig sa ganong area. So, a lot of people din naman parang when they enter a relationship na masyado silang shy or introvert or whatever so sometimes they just wait for someone to approach them mm. so it's very hard then oh. i think it really affects our daily life kung how we view ourselves mm-hmm. kasi ako um, may, may nabasa akong quote before na parang who you are what people think you are and who you really are if those three people will meet they will not recognize each other because mm-hmm. they are completely different people yes, so feeling ko quotes. we we binabagay din natin siya sa kung sino yung kasama natin if we are in a professional environment i'm very like professional okay mm-hmm. but if i'm with my friends na parang safe space ko i'm very loud and very yeah. extroverted and i'm just candid i'm just being myself so mm-hmm. parang ganun there are many different facets naman kasi yeah. sa personality natin. Mm-hmm. Hindi naman one track lang yan mm-hmm. na kapag uh, when you're with another group, mm-hmm. yun lang din yung personality mo with your close friends and your family, ba? And yung sa sinasabi ni MA kanina na yung profession din natin, it, yes. it's also dictated by our personality. Kasi ba minsan meron tayong mga nakakasalamuhan na sasabihin sa'yo, uy bagay ka sa ganitong work. Uh-huh. Kasi ganito yung personality mm-hmm. mo. Ganyan. Nakikita nila. Oo. Oh, oh. And ayun nga, for example, ako. Um, when I meet new people, actually, hindi nyo, hindi nyo akalain sa akin kasi madaldal ako. Pero, <laughs> kung in different cir- circumstances mm-hmm. na hindi hindi ko kailangan, there's no need for me to be outgoing or mm-hmm. to be an extrovert, hindi ko talaga kayo ko i-approach on my own. Mm-hmm. Kasi hindi, hindi ganun yung innate na nature ko. Mm-hmm. Pero when I'm on the job, for example, when I'm hosting, kailangan hindi naman pwedeng, di ba, yeah. na oh. tatahitahimik lang tayo na yung parang hindi ka makapag-ask ng questions because you're um, very shy, di ba? Mm-hmm. Kailangan ilabas din natin minsan yung pagiging outgoing natin even if we're not naturally like that. Pero kung sa inyo, so work ninyo, for example, Kawazara, you're a model. Yeah. 
meron bang effect sa sa iyo yung personality mo? Meron bang effect sa trabaho mo? Yeah. Mm-mm. I think sa lahat naman, trabaho, relationships, I think it plays a big part and as a model, mm-hmm. if you're very like let's say fragile and you're faced with a lot of rejections, I think you're gonna break. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. Sobrang... Actually, isa kasi diba sa mga um, parang stereotype mm-hmm. ng mga tao, no, parang kapag model, um, mag-aura-aura ka lang, papaganda ka lang, mm-hmm. they don't know how tough it is, ba? Yeah. And yes. also, kung kunwari introvert ka, ang hirap kaya makipag-socialize sa mga tao lalo na magpupunta yes. ka sa mga uh, auditions, diba? Agree, Ikaw, oh, please, yes. Ako kasi introvert ako. Oo. Oh, oh more on uh, like lone wolf ganun. So ito nga uh, malaking adjustment ko dito mm-hmm. kasi parang para sa akin pag naiisa lang mo ako sa mga tao parang naka-drain. So I need a lot of space mm-hmm. para mag-recharge ng sarili ko. Mm-hmm. So meron akong other stops na ginagawa na mm-hmm. ina-enjoy ko kasi ako lang mag-isa. Mm-hmm. So parang yun nga naka-affect siya, naka-affect siya sa personality ko mm-hmm. as an introvert. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dahil din doon, di ba, na-develop ang ating personality. We don't, we don't stick to one personality. Yeah, exactly. That's true. Well, hindi siya, hindi siya static na parang, yeah. parang mm-hmm. um, feeling ko nag-evolve din siya as you grow yeah. old or as mm-hmm. you mature. Kasi before, I was very shy then, like mm-hmm. you guys, like parang very... Uh, ako naman kasi yung shyness ko was more on insecurity because I didn't mm-hmm. grow up privileged. Mm-hmm. So, and I was like, I, I felt na parang growing up as a gay guy because it's very mm-hmm. hard here in the Philippines, especially before. Mm-hmm. So as I grow old or, or as I mature, I become more comfortable with my skin. And also, if you surround yourself with people na very open-minded, mm-hmm. you know, um, easy to be with, you just can't help but you just be yourself. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. And also, di ba, syempre, kailangan natin, as we grow older, we have to keep rediscovering ourselves. Kasi hindi naman pwedeng stagnant lang tayo in one place. So, kasama din sa development ng character natin. Mm-hmm. And mas, mas lalong nadadevelop yun when we meet new people. And when we have people like MA na very vivacious. Yes. And nakukuha <laughs> din natin yung energy niya, di ba? Kapag nag tayo. Oh. Well, thank you for that, MA. And since inumpisahan na ni Chris ang topic ng personality sa discussion natin, getting to know each other, let me just ask for you, MA, does personality play a big part in what you want to do in life? So, future uh, future look na yan. Yes. Um, before I started vlogging, I was like, di ba sinabi ko nga, I was very shy, mm-hmm. parang very ano ako. I had a lot of self-limiting beliefs mm. parang i was like doubting myself but um, you just have to do it you just have to try and then eventually once i get the hang of like being in front of the camera uh, listening to my voice na minsan naiirita kapag naririnig mo oh, i'm not sure if <laughs> ako lang yung nakaka-experience nun, but a lot of people kasi when they first hear their voice a video mm. or sa audio parang medyo awkward or weird <laughs> so yun. eventually i become more calm confident so, mm-hmm. ayun siya, nag-evolve talaga siya. And uh, for me, having a big personality or a strong personality, or even if you have, uh, like, parang weak personality, mm-hmm. you will have, uh, parang, some people will be able to relate to you. So, mm-hmm. everyone can become a content creator or an influencer, regardless of your personality. Mm-hmm. Okay, yes. MA, before we go to our next segment and tackle the topic more, ito medyo... Mara, marami rami kang madidiscuss dito as a millennial yourself, MA. And as part of MTV now, do you think the millennial's personality was developed and honed by our parents' fear of not making the mistakes they've made? And masyado tayong naspoiled as many point to our generation's fault. Or do you believe na sinasabi ng marami na millennials are the most educated, most well-informed and technology savvy, ambitious and goal-oriented. Wow. Ang uh, ano naman no? Ang dami ng terms. Mabigat ang title. Ang dami ng expectations sa ating mga millennials. No? And we believe in new working norms like work from home and work-life balance. Ano bang masasabi mo about all of this? I, I think kung paano tayo ngayon as an adult, mm-hmm. you know, um, it started way back nung how we were raised mm-hmm. sa environment natin, 
kung ano yung mga values ng mga parents if they are very supportive if they are like toxic so it will affect you um, in a way na minsan long term pala or lifetime pala naging effects sa iyo like how yeah. confident you are how insecure you are kung bata ka pala na fat shame ka na or if they're not really um, um supporting your dreams mm -hmm. if they make you feel like you're alone or if you're own or you're not enough so it plays a big impact and um right now na if you're an adult kasi what's happening then with the world especially the the, the social media mm -hmm. merong pressure yung society Mer ngayon kasi parang you can easily compare your life with you know yeah. everyone yes. because you it, see it, it, it's just your feeds yeah. yes. unlike before when you were kids na parang you don't really know mm -hmm. na okay ako, ako na lang pala hindi pa nakakapag travel abroad <laughs> ako na lang pala yung ganito uh, diba yes. ngayon parang it will parang the society or the social media will slap it in your face what mm -hmm. you don't have what you mm -hmm. lack parang bakit siya may abs bakit ako ganito hindi pa rin yeah. or bakit siya ganit parang sometimes yung mga ganung pressure or yung mga ganung insecurity it will either make or break you sometimes yes. uh, most people they um, take inspiration from it na parang okay one day i will be able to do it as well or whatever but for for some people then kung hindi nila kayang i-handle na maayos and they don't have a strong support system it will break them to the point na uh, parang hindi na lang sila magpa-participate or parang they will feel so small about themselves. So, yun. I, I think, yun nga, good parenting is the way para talaga mas, mas okay yung personalities natin. Parang it starts from home That's din talaga. That's the start kasi. Yes. Uh -huh. And then choose your noise on social media. Like, follow people who inspire you. Yeah. Yes. True. Huwag yung mga nagtitrigger ng insecurity mo or people yes. who just... Mga rant yeah, or, or, or some people na parang sobrang feeling mo hindi naman nag-add ng value oh, sa life niya. Oo, yung may mga yes. shallow post talaga yun. Parang mm. nakaka-less yeah. ng paningin mo sa iyo. Malaking cause ang depression yeah. ng social media yeah. actually. Oh, so it's a double-edged sword then kasi everyone has a voice mm -hmm. and the bad thing is that everyone has a voice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so <laughs> Exactly, di ba? Ayan, there you have it mga kamillennials. That was M.A. Bandia for you. So samahan ninyo kami sa next segment where we discuss our different personalities from the perspective of millennials and how we cope with stress and how we take care of our well-being, mental health, and how we deal with life in general from the standpoint of who we are. We'll be right back.